Hi everyone, this is Alejandra. This week I want to show you how to split the information from column B and column C and align the information for product 1 with the 268 sales, product 2 to 383 and so on. I'm going to show you two techniques today. One is using the list zip function and the second one is using the table from columns. I learned this second technique from us. I'm going to add the link on the description of this video also on top of this screen. I strongly recommend that you take a look to that video is so worth the watch. Thank you all for sharing that information with all of us. If you like what you see here, remember to subscribe and let's get this done. Let's start with our table here. Uh, let's go here to the table design. It's called product sale. Let's get this to Power Query. Let's go to our data tab from table range. Okay. The Power Query editor will open. Uh, I'm using Microsoft 365. Here we have our query. I'm going to right click and duplicate. Uh, so we are going to look to the same example using two techniques. So let's go to our uh, product sales. I'm going to rename this as list zip. And the second one, it will be called table from columns. Okay, great. Okay. Let's go to our first query. Let's remove the last step. I don't want to, the, to change the data type just yet. Here, um, our source, I want to split the content of this column, column products. I want to split each product. Same with the sales. Uh, so let's start with the products. Uh, let's go to add column, custom column. And here I'm going to say text dot split. I'm going to open parentheses. And the, the text uh, is coming from the product column. So here on the right, double click, comma. And the separator, the separator is a space greater than space. I'm going to open quotation marks, space greater than space, close the quotation marks, close the parentheses, and I say OK. okay. I can see here that I have a list. Let me expand this one a little bit. So now I can see that I have product one, two, three, and I can see that I have two product seven, and that is because let me expand the column. Here I have two items called product seven. So, okay. But I need to keep both because both have different sales amount. So let's do the same for the sales column. We need to split those amounts. Let's go to add column, custom column. Uh, here after the equal, I'm going to say text.split. Open parentheses. I'm going to select sales this time, comma. And the separator, same thing, space greater than, space, close, uh, quotation mark, close parentheses. And I'm going to say, OK, I have my list with all the sales on each line. Now click here on the circle on the right, copy this formula. Let's go to our previous step called added custom because I need to grab these two formulas into one that is called list zip so I can align the product with the sales of 268, product 2, to 383 and so on. I click at this circle uh, after the equal I'm going to say list dot zip open parentheses and I'm providing list for Power Query to understand that these are lists. I need to provide the curly bracket right here. I have the curly bracket. My first list come from this formula referring to the products column. The second list will come from the formula referring to the sales column that we copy from the last step. So control V to paste. Now I have that information for the sales column as well. Close the curly bracket. I finish with the list and close the parentheses for the list zip function. I say OK. Uh, if you click here on the right of the list, you can see that each list will have several lists inside. That is exactly what I wanted. I don't need the last step anymore. We copy that formula to this step. So here I'm going to actually rename it and I'm going to call it my list zip. Excellent. OK, now let's expand this to new rows. If I go to my custom column, I click on the right of the list. I can see that each line will have only one product and one sales amount. So now I need to find a way to align the product and the sale amount on the same line, right? This is going to be easy to do. So we need to get this a rows on the right from the custom column. And I'm going to select expand values. Uh, the delimiter, I want to provide my custom delimiter, that is the pipe. So I provide the pipe um, and I say OK. You can see that I have the product and the sale amount on the same line and separated by my pipe. I don't need the products or the sale uh, column anymore. I select them, I press delete. Now let's split our custom column so we can get this information in two uh, columns. So right click split column by delimiter. By the limiter, Power Query has identified the pipe, which is correct, and I'm going to say OK. I have my information 
correctly correctly split but the data type is not identified correctly so i'm going to delete that step and from here i also realized that i didn't rename my columns so uh, here on the formula bar uh, i'm gonna change this custom dot one for product okay and the custom dot two i'm gonna replace that for sales uh, sales amount press enter now i can see that i have my um, columns uh, named correctly Power Query created another step changing the data type, which is incorrect for column one and column three. So I'm gonna delete that step, select one column, press Control A, and go to uh, transform, uh, detect data type. That is correct, correct. And the sales amount still as a currency. No, I want whole number. I'm gonna click there. I want to replace the current um, information. Yes, that's correct. That's what I want. I want the, the whole numbers. Perfect. Uh, this information is ready to go. Um, yeah, let's pass this to Excel. So let's go to home, close and load, close and load too. It's going to ask me what I want to do. I want to only create connection, select that, and I'm going to press OK. I have my two queries. I, I'm going to click at least zip query, right click, load to. And I'm going to create a pivot table. I want to create this pivot table in a new worksheet, and I'm going to press OK. I'm going to move the city to the rows, the product to the columns, and the sales amount to the values. Okay. Oh, the city didn't go through. Okay. And I want to change the layout because I don't have the uh, titles correctly. So I go to the design tab, report layout, um, show in tabular form. Okay. Now we can see city and product. I like this better, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Let's filter this information. Let's present only a couple of um, cities. That is Edmonton. Let's select Vancouver as well. So now we can see the information by product, uh, by city. Now, remember that we have product seven two eyes in one line. So let's double click at this amount and we can see that those two items came through and are included in our pivot table. So the information is correct. Now, let me show you the second technique. Okay, here, uh, let's go back to our queries table from columns. I'm gonna double click there. And same thing, I need to remove this step. Uh, Power Query change the data type. Uh, I don't need that right now. So I delete it. And from here, I'm going to do exactly the same that I did in the previous step. I need to split uh, the information that is in the column products and sales through custom columns. So I'm going to get there. I'm going to speed this up and I'll see you in a second. Excellent. We have the information that we need. We have our list on each line. Now, same thing. We need to align this, the product with the sales amount. Let's click here on the right of the added custom one step. And let's select that formula. Control C. I'm going to cancel. And I'm going to go back to the previous step. In there, I click to that circle again. Right here, just after the equal, I'm going to say table dot from columns this one and i'm gonna open parenthesis the list remember we need to provide the curly brackets for list my first list will come from the uh, this formula that refers to the product um, column go to the end comma the second list will come from the formula that refers to the sales column that we just copy from the last step so control v to paste and I'm going to give some space here for the close the curly bracket and close the parentheses for the table from column. So here you see the first function, the second function combined through the table from columns. And I'm going to say OK. Here you can see that we have tables. We don't have lists. We have only a table on each line. And that table contains information from the product aligned with the sales. So that is what we want. We don't need the last step anymore. We copy that information into this step. So I'm going to delete that. Click at that uh, X on the left. <laughs> Let's expand this information. Let's go here on our custom column. Um, these are rows on the top. Click there. 
and I want to expand both columns and I don't want to use the original name as prefix so I remove the check mark and I say okay now you can see that we have our product and our amount okay let's rename the columns right here since we are in this step already in the formula bar so when it says column one so you can see here that this is how the columns are called column one and column two and this is how we are going to rename them and I'm going to say uh, product and the other one will be sales amount enter now um, I don't need uh, the sales and the product uh, columns so I'm going to select both and press delete in the product column, control A to select the whole table. And let's go to transform, uh, detect data type. And the first two columns are correct. The third column, I don't like the currency. I'm going to select whole number type. I want to replace the current information there. That's correct. And now I'm ready to pass this to Excel. Here on the home tab, close and load, close and load again. That's right. So here we are going to have table from column, right click, and I can load to, and I want to load to a pivot table on the existing worksheet that is going to be list zip. I'm going to click there, and I'm going to say OK. I want the pivot table here so I can show you that I get exactly the same information using any of the two functions. Okay, so here let's say let's do the same. Let's bring the series to the rows, the product to the columns, and the sales amount to the values. Let me change the report layout. Go to design, report layout, show in tabular form. Here I have series and product, so that's correct. And now I filter this information by uh, what it was Edmonton and Vancouver. I say OK, and you can see that I can get exactly the same information. Personally, I use the table from columns uh, function after watching that video from us. Uh, so that, um, as I mentioned, I will include that link on the description of this video. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.